Oh my god! Holy crap! What is up my weebs? Welcome back to another episode of Dong and Rapa. You guys, I gotta say, you barely made the light go. Well, I mean, you guys probably would've hit it eventually, but you know, everyone keeps asking me, Where's Danganronpa? And I'm guessing the ones that asked that are the ones that smash like, okay? I want to thank you guys so much for the support on this series. I'm having so much fun with it. Last episode, we just did the class trial. The first one, it was super intense. I'm not going to spoil it for you because if you missed it, I will try to link it here. Go check it out if you missed it. And as always, smash like if you want to see more. Uh, it's so simple. If you want to see more, hit the like button. <laughs> I say it every time. But if you do that, I love you. You're you the true weebs out there, all right? Ah, I'm ready for some more despair. So we're just kicking it right off. That was the true face of despair. Now that you've gotten this far, you know, I'm pretty sure I can go into spoiler territory. Leon is dead now. And this is just them reacting to it. I mean, if we can call it that, what else would we call it? Extreme! <laughs> My adrenaline is pumping right out of control. <laughs> What's going on? I can't take this anymore. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well. Hey, well, if you don't like it, kick rocks, girl. All you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. Simple. So easy. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. What an evil little bear. They keep asking him, oh, why are you doing this? He's just, I mean, I don't really know the actual reason, but like, it's always the same answer. Just because he can. I'm sure there's some like moral reasons behind it. Uh, something about society and we live in a society. But uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna guess that that's what it would be. Cause what else would it be? It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make something of something that doesn't make sense. That's a very good point. Like at the same time, he's evil. He kidnapped. He, he kidnapped. He kidnaps us, but uh, he's also very insightful. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fits together. This guy just says bad words all the time. All right, all this is just filler, right? Who's gonna die next? That's the questions we have. So, you know, as always, I try to skip through the boring parts for you guys because, like, you've probably seen someone already play this or you played it yourself. I don't want to go through the boring parts. I want to go through the good, juicy stuff. So they're just going to be like, Oh, uh, so it died. I can't believe this. You said it would happen and it happened. Like, I'm calling it right now. This is definitely an ex-waifu. Sure, she wasn't my first pick. She wasn't my second pick. But she's my third pick now. I know I shouldn't get attached, but I, I'm gonna try. So she said that we are basically trapped inside the place. And then Monokuma says, he's like, oh, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of the school, your thinking will change for sure. See, there's more to this story. And I'm super interested to know. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? <laughs> What he's really trying to say is it's actually better here than the outside what world. What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there, just like I said. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I've said everything I gotta say. He, I've said too much. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever unable to move. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? Kyoko is always so like, laid back no matter how dire the situation is, but she's also very smart. Kind of hope she survives, but I don't know. She moved in close and whispered into my ear Makoto. before we head back. There's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? Oh no. Uh, don't, uh, don't remind me! I don't want to hear- I don't want to hear that my wife who betrays me. I'm surprised you figured it out. I told you before the class trial started you had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought, the thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. That's what the it's woman true. will do to you. Psycho meant to double cross you. That's a fact uh, you can never change. But even till the end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She felt bad, but also was like super scared. You know, oh, yeah. I'm trying to like say, oh, it's okay. It's okay. She betrayed me. She was thinking of me. You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Saika would know for sure, and we can't ask her. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. <laughs> huh? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. 
If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left, left the message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back to the person who had killed her. Certainly. That certainly is one possibility, but I don't think that was it. Anyway. She was not certain. She wasn't sure she can kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan had failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Yeah. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all of this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Saika, Leon, and Leon. Well, Leon wasn't my friend, but okay. And keep moving forward. Without someone like that, the others would have never been able to break free of such a despair, disparate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. Saika's always in here. Leon, Saika, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go! So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How do you... How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Saika? Well, it was obvious. I'm psychic. What? Aw, oh, wow. We're like saying the same things that Saika said? Kidding. I have a pretty good intuition. Why are we saying that exactly like her? To survive. Ooh, that's creepy. Wow, that was the longest crap chapter. How many chapters is there? <laughs> Surviving students, 12. Ooh, it's freaking Battle Royale anime style. All right. Well, first it was the prologue, then it's chapter one. I got a just spare bat. Oh, that was Leon's. <laughs> okay. I probably just should have saved that for last episode, but whatever. Oh, well, this is just lonely now. We're just here at nighttime. I guess we'll go to the bathroom. Oh God, it's gone. She really is gone. Dude, how could you ever use this bathroom ever again, right? It's almost like there was never anything here to begin with. Every last sign of Saika's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Since the class trial is over, I'll dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing you delighted smiley faces is enough for me. I didn't even have time to mourn Saika and Juko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I still, like, a part of me really does wonder if they're actually dead or not. Perhaps, maybe when you die in this game, you don't really die in the real world. Because we have to question, why is this all happening in the first place? Maybe this is just some sort of life lesson that everyone in that school actually does go through, and they just wake up and they're like, oh, I'm going to school. Like, I don't know what they're supposed to learn, but hey, I don't know. We'll see. That's just my intuition. Don't really know if it's true. All right, so we're just going to do a meeting, and I, I'm only going to say things that really count, so yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about Aoi, though. A Aoi? Aoi? Yeah. I don't know. She might be... She might be... Uh, she's she's nice, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Only time will tell. We'll see. We'll see how they act. So for, before I can really pick next waifu. Oh, why is this highlighted? So he talked about how his room was spotless, like nothing ever happened. My theory might actually make some sense, but I assure you guys, I've never played this game. I really haven't. I just, I just know that there's all kinds of twists. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. All right, time At to go back such, to sleep. It yep. is soon all right. the doors to the di- Oh, and one- other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. That's basically what they were saying in the meeting. <laughs> see you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Okay. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh God, there's probably still so much that we don't know. What was that about just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't with me. Who does he think he is? Yeah, that bear is freaking jacked up, though. I mean, I, I still have a feeling he's probably good in some way. I, I don't know. And so the day is now over. A tense, maddening day that just... That saw the deaths of three classmates, Saika, Juko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, oh, what does this all mean? Boy's life of despair. 
Okay. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> I like. He's doing it like an idiot. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. All right. I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> now reach way up. And bend way oh my god. Down. So he's acting like a normal class Tighten like those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. This is awful. <laughs> I like how she's just doesn't this feel great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. <laughs> Whoa, I sounded pretty cool right now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Uh, <laughs> why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Uh, just to make you exercise? If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness, the power can be yours. That sounds like some kind of junk uh, a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Okay, well, all right, what's the what's the real deal? Every time you overcome a class trial, there's uh, here at Hope's Peak Academy, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? Whole new world. You guys? It really sucked if you just had to live here for, uh, forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. So go ahead and look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. It's like new rooms or something. I mean, there is like rooms that were sealed off, so. Oh, hey, the second floor. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, what's up here? More bathrooms. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so red. What is this? Like a just a place you chill out or what? All right. Two B. What's in here? Reality isn't everything. Oh my god. Is that like a realistic version of him? That's hilarious. <laughs> Reality isn't everything. I know, that's what I feel like when I watch my animes. All right, well, there was nothing in there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office, throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full government su support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. The decision was not easy to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues- Oh my god! So the school's closed down, and the bear's taking it hostage, basically. And judging by the amount of dust on the letter collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently, so it's been a while. Alright, so now what we're going to try to do is figure out why did the school close in the first place? Alright, let's talk to the waifu candidate over here. I don't know, she kind of scares me. I'm just not sure anymore. <laughs> you must be pretty happy to have all these books around you, huh, Toko? Not particularly. Nothing really cu caught my eye and my attention so far. <laughs> Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. Not enough anime. Where's the comic books? Where's the manga? The adults, <laughs> the young adult section. That stuff's a wasted time. I see what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. Oh, she gonna kill you. It's all filled throwaway culture that'll be trash and forgotten in half a decade. Just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. But your anime, though. You've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. Oh, well, we already have a motive right now. Hifumi's gonna kill her. <laughs> no! <laughs> These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. I honestly could probably see it happening. Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? I found a pool. Wow, did you? <laughs> and there's a ton of exercise equipment. Oh, dang. Get our gains on. All right, I officially changed my mind. She's waifu. She's very sweet. She has no, she has nothing wrong with her. Although the other, although the other girl is like super crazy. I feel like she's very wild. So he's saying the way to get into the lockers is by using a, a boy's handbook. I just already know that these little details are gonna go into the next murder. I already know right now because it's giving us the details on purpose. So only a boy's handbook can, can get in the boy's locker room and only a girl's handbook can get into the girl's locker. This is gonna be part of it. I already know. So if a guy tries to get a girl to get into the to the girl's locker room, that machine gun will kill them. I bet it really hurts to get shot by the thing. Really. I think it'd be a little worse than that. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them to the girl's locker room, would it not? 
That never even occurred to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Okay, then how's this sound? Time for new rule. As of the moment, lo loaning your e-handbook to another student is prohibited. Prohibited. I could say it. I could say that word. All right. Well, I guess we're doing another meeting. They're just going to talk about things. All right. Oh, the warehouse and the bathhouse is open. All right. Let's go. It is now the first night since then. I wonder if something's going to happen during night. Nighttime is never a good time. Oh, I have 86 coins. Dang. I am so rich. I mean, it's bear currency, but I mean, hey, I'm excited. I'm so rich. Uh oh. Okay. So it's the morning meeting and Taka's not here. No, Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How is that a problem? <laughs> Would you make me some tea? Huh? <laughs> milk milk tea, if you please. Well, Why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. <laughs> That's the reason? I can feel my throat drying out quickly, please. Oh. You know he'll listen. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. He put me reopen with the tray in hand. Reappeared with the tray in hand. The gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. You could have made some tea for the rest of us, you know. Oh yeah, after you insulted his manga. Yeah, right, Toko. I emphatically decline. You're not my type at all. <laughs> it's all about the law of casualty, basic instinct, and active reacts. Urgh. I'm telling you, she's gonna kill him. Wait, she cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would she do that? I hate this kind of tea. Oh gosh, she kind of deserves to die. <laughs> you little bitch. Oh. Did she really just say that? Dude, she's freaking out because she didn't get her freaking milk tea. I think she's going cuckoo, man. She's like saying, oh, why do you even have a menu? The guy doesn't even have a menu. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for. What? Nani? Yeah. Okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. Oh God, it's that kind of thing. You were like totally a different person right now. Oh God, so she has like split personality. Oh, that's gonna be great. Uh oh, what's happening? He just showed up. Bad news everyone, there's a mystery afoot. Yes, here we go, finally. What happened? It would seem Bianca refuses to leave his room. Oh. I stood there pressing his orbital over and over but he never showed himself. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Maybe he just wasn't there. I like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that. He didn't really have to say anything else. Everyone already knew. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Listen Come on, Scooby-Doo game, let's, gang, let's go. <laughs> but that's weird, though, that he came from the room, right? So I already suspect him. Okay, so she's going to go check the room. I'm just going to keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Wait, so who's missing right now? Just Byakuya? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. I'm still trying to remember everyone's names right now. I'm, I'm, I'm almost there, but I'm trying to. You know, to be honest, I wouldn't even be mad if he died. Like, I really wouldn't. But that's weird that he wouldn't leave. He seems so serious. He doesn't seem like the person to be like, you know, affected by things. Future waifu, tell me. Or current waifu, tell me. Hey, Hina, any luck? Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on his door and nothing. Come on, everybody, open up. Careful, you're gonna bust the door down hitting it that hard. <laughs> Relax, this is nothing compared to what Sakura would do. <laughs> she should be the one knocking. She could tear this door to shreds if she wanted to, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. I've been knocking long enough. I think I can say for sure he's not here. I think you're right, okay? I'm gonna go look around yeah. for him. All right. If you think about what Bianca was so interested in yesterday, you could probably guess where he is right now, right? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, the library. Well, if she knows, why doesn't she just tell people? <laughs> She's always like, oh, figure it out yourself. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried, oh no. Bianca! You're just reading? <laughs> why you gotta freaking scare me like that, man? I mean, not that I would care if he was dead. I'm just like, you know, I expected something a lot more crazier than just him reading. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh. Sorry. Wasn't he one of the ones that like suggested the morning meeting? Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. Yeah. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Yeah, everyone's just going crazy, man. He snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Yo! <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding! Uh, the heck are you doing here, man? We were concerned. 
We had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never seen. I've never even read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Wow. What were you reading? A mystery novel. So, are you gonna use what you were learning to betray us? Hm. Don't be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> It's just something to keep in mind. Naturally. Oh god, is he gonna be the next one to murder somebody? So he's just basically saying, oh man. He's like Sasuke from Naruto, he's just like, oh man, I'm just like... I'm so talented, I'm so talented, I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> they didn't really say that, but... He thinks he's- there's no way that he can fail and he's so smart. I've never trusted him from day one anyway. Alright, I'm only saying this because Toko just left, so Byaku left and then Toko left. Uh, everyone's just going crazy. It's like, oh, they're gonna, we're all gonna die. We're gonna get poison food and such. I have to say that because if she dies, it's not gonna make sense. <laughs> just everyone's scared, all right? Oh, I have free time. All right, so basically this is where I can decide if I want to spend time with the next waifu, essentially. And they give us, like, special things. All right, well, let's do this. Owie, hi, girl. <laughs> oh, what? This is free time. I don't, I don't get to spend time with people? Oh, she's at the pool. Okay. To the pool? <laughs> the opposite of possible isn't impossible, it's challenge. That's a quote from the famous baseball player Jackie Robinson. I thought he was gonna say <laughs> Jackie Chan. <laughs> All right, let's spend some time with her. We walked aimlessly around the school. We grew a little closer. All right, uh, I, I probably should go get some like presents, but I don't, do I even have any presents at all? Oh no, the baseball bat. <laughs> oh, it's still kind of sad. She would love that though, right? It's kind of perfect. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't let me give it to her. That would have been so perfect. Alright, I, I guess I can't give it or anything. I need to go get stuff. I'm getting totally fired up. How come? How come does it matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put in five coins. I have 80, alright? I have a lot of coins. I need some sports item. Oh, a telephone. Okay, well that's not gonna do good. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a flotation donut. She loves swimming! And like, yeah, this kind of contradicts her being all fit and stuff, but like, it's kind of funny, so I'm gonna give it to her. It doesn't actually matter. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you. I mean, it's not like I like like, not that kind of like. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I give her makes me happy. It fills me with determination. Oh yeah, she waifu. She waifu. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limits. I'm stuck in here. I can't do any sports. I can't do anything. I'm sick of it. But there's a gym up there. <laughs> I'm gonna get out under the sun and do some laps. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit, but I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think it's a little extreme? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know. Why else would I have joined six sports teams in a school? <laughs> oh my god. She got to her main sport, but ran out of juice. I think it's gonna be going home? Bouldering, yes. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> It's gotta be swimming. I knew it. I'm so smart. I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge. Yes, I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know. It's having to fight and struggle and give it all to reach the top. Oh, no. <laughs> this is always gonna happen, isn't it? It's always gonna be like, this is the reason why they're gonna kill you. Because she wants to reach the top. She can't be still. She's gonna go crazy and she's gonna kill me. Oh. Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Bianca and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. That's true. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are uh, abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Should we go check on Toko? I vote no, she's super annoying. <laughs> How could you be so cold? You're like a piece of rock candy. <laughs> Why is he so passionate about rock candy? Uh-oh. Okay, so it's nighttime. I spent all my time with waifu. We're all good. She ate- she wanted some donuts. <laughs> I'm trying to skip things because I don't want to like show everything, but yeah. Now they have me going to the dining hall. That's very suspicious at night time. I guess we're hungry. Okay, hungry for some despair. I just wanted to get something to eat and now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me. Perfect timing! What's going on? Hey, I have a favor to ask. I have a bad feeling about this. You gotta be our witness. Witness to what? Is it happening? <laughs> what? This guy's been talking crap about me since day one, calling me a coward and crap like that. You're a coward, that's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. That's why you can't do what society asks of you. You walk around dressed like that. What did you say? You don't know crap. You've already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. Damn you! Okay, so now we're having another motive. Are they gonna kill each other? I just don't know. Oh, let's throw down. You hear me? I guess they can, huh? <laughs> so that's what's happening, Bakoda. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down. You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse in the first uh, floor of the dorm. 
Right, with the sauna inside. I see. I see a simple endurance contest, is it? We're gonna see if we can stay in the sauna the longest. Piece of shit. Okay. Are you guys really gonna go through with this? <laughs> yeah. He'll be done with a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are without exception all talk. I have been in a sauna and it's it's pretty freaking tough, man. Like it gets like pretty unbearable after a while. Oh, they're gonna go in there with all their clothes on? You're gonna regret this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, one of them didn't listen. I like how he has it on his <laughs> pompadour. You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. I mean, he is the better man. He has all of his clothes on. You can shut the frack up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens. I was born with a red face. You don't Same here. Act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soap right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. Oh my god, they're still there. <laughs> think it's about time you gave up. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumb. <laughs> like the pause there. Whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel a kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, you guys, you know, I know you want to prove how big of a uh, BS you are, but don't you think you've done enough? I just can't win. Oh god, they have to leave now. It's nighttime. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition. Oh my god, no are, such thing as a tie. are they really gonna die because they're freaking doing this? You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> then bring it on. Uh, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Oh my god, I'm really curious if they're gonna die now. The gates of heck, that's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. You hear him, better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning, then you can start spreading my, my legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at you. Okay, well, good night then. Wait, I thought they can't, they have to be. So I am confusion. Don't they have to be in the dorms? So are they actually gonna be dead? Let's find out. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall uh, more quickly than usual. And when I entered... Oh, they're fine! <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? What the... No. Hey, Makoto. Thank you so much for acting as your, our witness yesterday. Are they friends now? So, witness. I'm guessing that's probably gonna be used for a murder or something, too. Like, we knew that they were there. They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? They bonded. Aw. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like that just doesn't get our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Right. What you just said, bro, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool as crap. I should get a tattoo of it. No, bro, you mustn't. Your buddy's a tiffle. <laughs> so who won the contest? Wow, they really just became friends. They don't even care who won. Okay, I thought for sure one of them was gonna die. Uh-oh, someone's here. What's, what's happening? You. Tucker, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that uh, annoying? <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so it makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I have a f favor to ask. I sent you... I want you to g go somewhere with me. What does it mean? What? Well, the library. Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time there anyway. Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? He has to be a- This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Oh god, why does she want to go? Why are you so pushy? Alright, let's go then. Quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him- Don't let him see you. She actually was trying to get annoying, but I uh, did what she said and gently crept in the library. And surprisingly, Bianca was there, uh, absorbed in a book. What? That's weird. Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. Yeah. I 
can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. He seems to be really focused on the book and doesn't uh, seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back there? I hate even having to look at you. <laughs> nah, so you noticed me, huh? And take her with you. Uh, Bianca, remember how you said don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong man? I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. What the heck is going on? Get out. And go take a bath, you smell. <laughs> oh, God. Don't make me say it again. You stink. <laughs> okay. That's weird. Does she, like, have a crush on him? He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Like, did he really upset her that much? Yako to go that far. He must be really concerned about me. Oh, my God. It's true. This girl, man. She likes him. Oh, now they're gonna team up. Oh god, he's gonna kill her. Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. I'm glad she wasn't my waifu. Hey, Makoto, what did you think? Uh, think about what? Do you think me and Bianca would be good together? Well, I don't really know. <laughs> That's true, there's no way to know. But the, dis <laughs> the, but the distance between us doesn't change our love. Oh, is she Yandere? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, she's Yandere! There might come a day where you understand, maybe someday. Well, bye. Alrighty then. Uh, young love. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion must also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off into the wrong direction. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Oh god! <laughs> okay, so I spent some more time with her now. She thinks she's gotten fat. She keeps talking about food even though she exercises all the time. I figured. I'm so fat. Fat from every angle. No, you're not. I hate this. I hate it. I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fat fatty attitude. <laughs> I just get disgust disgustingly morbidly obese and then nobody wants to marry me. I'll marry you. Which makes me depressed that I get to be fatter. Eventually I can't even stand up on my own and then I die and sad alone and nobody notices I finally lose weight when my body starts to rot. I think maybe you're worrying a little too much. You look exactly the same. You're just saying that I'm total chub monster. I'm a perfect circle. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm not just saying that. Then I'm still hot. Well, I mean, yeah. Really, then I might still make it out alive. Yeah. Thank God, seriously. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement as of right now. Aoi Asahina is on a diet. <laughs> and she does keep talking about food. I don't know. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so it's nighttime. We have to gather in the gym. Last time we went to the gym, someone died. All right, so Yasuhiro says, I was in the main hall just staring off into space last night when all of a sudden I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Mm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Mm. Like I said, I don't know. But if I had to describe it, it, it was like a construction site, I guess. Oh, no. For serious. I could just be making that up. I barely, I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. I must have been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Uh. Oh god, what's happening? <gasps> He's arrived. What Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion! Or maybe a machine gun! That, that could kind of sound like a construction in a way. What are you talking about? Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped, my lips are sealed, I am fully puckered. It's a little secret. Yeah. Fine, let's move on to what you could call us, or what you can tell us. Why did you call us here? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low in energy these days, my stitching's even losing all the shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this whole bum boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. That's what I'm talking about, man. Listen, can I just be frank? The next Blacken hasn't shown up yet and I'm getting bored. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Oh, not again. Is it another set of videos or something? Not that again. I don't know what you got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up. Bialkia is going to kill someone. So this time, it's embarrassing memories and secrets. Uh-oh. As long as you're alive, it's given that there's some things that you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating my own, and I dug some of the darkest secrets. Oh and no. Embarrassing <laughs> memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. 
Oh no. <laughs> I nervously pulled out what was written inside. My entire body was uh, went rigid. Makoto went to bed until he was fifth grade. Ah! <laughs> no, this can never get out of my reputation. They got Taika's dead. <laughs> right? Oh. What? How? Oh no! She's so. <laughs> no, you didn't hear that. <laughs> How'd you find out about this? Oh no, she didn't know. She just, that was her own secret. Okay. Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become black and by then, all of the deepest, darkest, and most embarrassing, uh, embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Uh, the world. Oh God. Is it really going to be like cause someone to kill each other? Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by a motive. Yeah. It's like, wow. Why would you, would you really kill someone over that? Count on it. He's right. Our, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder someone for this kind of thing. Oh, no. Is it because for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what. So I assumed you'd all be the same, which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really don't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? It's, it's funny seeing him depressed. <laughs> okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fair not well. With an almost convincing look of de depressed dejection on his face, Monokumo needed receded to his gym's depths. So, um, I don't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged the bullet um, on this one. I mean, yeah, having the secrets revealed is going to be embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? I have a feeling it might. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here, right it. now? If we do that, then the motive, there'll be no motive. Down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I feel I feel like she would be the one to kill someone. Oh, it's probably it's probably her crush though too, huh? Neither do I. I don't. It's not because it's unpleasant, but so she doesn't want to talk about hers either. I agree with him. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, so no one wants to talk about it. So that means someone is gonna kill someone over it. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back the next day. I was not very satisfied with yesterday's episode ending. So here I am the next day. What could be their secrets? I mean, it's gotta be a big secret, but they said embarrassing secret. So it's like, I don't know. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot deeper. Anyway, I wanna see, let's see them secrets. Oh my God. So now that it's nighttime, someone's probably gonna make a move again. Mm. Night time's never good in this game. I was left with anxiety and I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they are and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Let's see what happens. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all the crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no anyone would kill over stuff like that, at least that's what I thought. <laughs> I like the foreshadowing there. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep, but what I didn't know is that even then a tragedy was taking place. Yes, it's happening. I'm so excited for tragedy. <laughs> Question marks. Oh, <laughs> morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Oh my God. <laughs> you came to wake me up personally. Oh, Madakuma, I love you. Oh, I have to be quiet. It's morning. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates, if it's next waifu, I'm... I can't say I'm gonna quit the game. I'm not gonna quit the game, but I'm gonna be very angry. Let me tell you, mister... <laughs> what? what? Your face is all blue like someone's on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? <laughs> the what ifs are pointless, especially now when the dining hall, I need to get to the dining hall. Oh, thank God. Oh, you're, you're fine. She's like, actually, no, my leg. <laughs> Her leg's just on the ground. Are you okay? Hey. Did Monica talk to you too? Hirohina, Sakura, and Biakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to something that Monokuma mentioned. The something. Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? 
murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way to my mind. I'm gonna call it right now because we don't know yet. I think Toko is probably the one that killed somebody because she seems so like, first of all, we've seen her secret. Now she didn't want it to get out. And so, yeah. I think she's gonna kill somebody. I had to check to see if a knife was missing again. Well, one is technically, but I don't think they ever put it back. Who would actually want to use that knife after someone was stabbed with it? All right, all the characters are saying that something happened probably most likely on the second floor. So yeah, here we are. I bet she's gonna be the library. The library is like the central place for everyone. Oh yeah, hey, you're here. What have you found? There's nothing here of interest, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. The pool? Maybe the pool. The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? Ooh, I freaking knew it. I knew it that this was gonna happen. I called it. Who is it? Who's gonna be over here? Investigation? Clear. Just as I thought. Biokia! Judging from what he said, <laughs> that voice cracked though. There's a murder. A murder has taken place. Come on. And the locker rooms are suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as if only talking to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. Oh, is it a girl? The door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh my god! Holy crap! Bro, who would have done this? <laughs> And why do they got the same poster in the background? So she mentioned that she was like weak, right? And then like, and everyone knew that, but why? Why her? I don't know guys, but that, that's freaking insane. This is, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Who did it? Why did they do it? We're going to find out next episode. So make sure you smash that like guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Today, scrub of the day goes to... Kazoo Turtle.